Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be one that has been requested by a few people, not many. I feel like it was probably a good idea. I'm basically just going to rate my favorite hair oils um, or like make a list of which one's my favorite, most favorite to least favorite. And I'm going to do only oils for your length in this video. But I'm going to have an upcoming video where I'm going to do one on scalp oils as well, or mainly just scalp treatments. So yeah, let's just get to it. I do have some oils that currently I don't have in stock, but I've tried them. But either way, I'm not really going to include them because most of them are oils that while I like them, I wouldn't necessarily purchase them again. And there might be some that I would, but I can't really recall any right now. So we're just going to leave it with the ones that I have in stock. I do realize me saying I have them in stock actually sounds like I'm collecting them or something. But no, it's just that I do have um, some that I, well, that I really love. So I make sure I have them here and some that I just, I've never used up. So I just kind of have a lot. That's probably what it is. I will be doing two categories. I'm going to do silicone serums and organic ones or those that don't have silicones because I do use both. So yeah, I'm going to start with the silicone serums because that's actually just a short list. I've only tried two oils that have silicones in them. The first one was the L'Oreal Extraordinary Hair Oil. I don't have a bottle right now, but I'll maybe put a picture to the side or something. And I did think I liked it until I tried a different silicone serum. Then I was like, okay, this does not compare. You know, it was so much better. And just for reference, I only use silicone serums after washing my hair and on damp hair. So I don't use them in just like in between the week. I used to, but I felt like that was a bit too much for my hair. So I found the balance is just doing it twice a week. After washing my hair, I apply a few drops just to seal everything in. So that one wasn't my favorite, but my top favorite is this one. And I even have a big bottle right there. This is the June Saffron Hair Elixir. And I got this exactly a year ago. My husband bought it for my birthday and it's it's like a bit over half empty. So I think there's like quarter left, which is, you know, it lasts a long time. And that's for a few months. I even used it daily. So this is like um, it might seem expensive, but for as long how long it lasts, it's actually not much more expensive than any other hair serum. And I just love it. It's really, really lightweight. So for me, I can use six to 10 drops and it won't weigh my hair down. And like compared, I could only compare it to the L'Oreal Extraordinary Hair Oil. And that one was so really heavy, honestly. And I did feel like it caused a bit of buildup in my hair. It just made my hair look flat. And this one doesn't. It just makes my hair look shiny. It avoids so many split ends and not to mention it just smells amazing i love it it's well this is my favorite but i can't really compare it too much <laughs> although i don't feel the need to like i'm good with this next we're gonna go to silicone free oils and that is gonna be a long list i'm gonna start with my least favorite and then work my way up to my favorite one. This is a Lazartig Wilderes. I have no idea how you say that. I very probably butchered that. But this is, um, it's an interesting oil for sure. It has some ingredients that would act instead of silicones. Like it doesn't have silicones, but it has some moisturizing agents or ingredients that can enter your hair and really hydrate it or condition it. But for some reason, it just, I don't see a big difference in my hair. I mean, first of all, it's a little bit on the heavy side. I, I can barely use two drops and then my hair just looks a little, little oily. 
but it's also like it's not something i wouldn't use up like i'm i will use it up it's good enough for that but it's just not really my favorite to be honest and i couldn't even really tell you why it just i feel like it doesn't do much for my hair very probably with someone with a different hair type maybe thicker or curlier hair or something might love it but for me um like again i'm not saying i hated it i just didn't like it as much as some of the others I have. Then we're gonna go to Argan Oil. So this has nothing to do with the brand. It's just that simple Argan Oil, um, I feel like it's too simple for my hair maybe. And a lot of times I feel like if my hair were shorter, there would be products that I don't really like right now, but that would work great if I had short hair. But since my hair is long, the main goal is kind of to maintain length and keep my ends really, really happy. And so Argan Oil, while it's amazing for my face, for my nails, for everything, it's not something I would go for if I'm doing my hair care routine. Like, I would use it, but just not one of my favorites. So the next two I'm gonna put on the same level and it's very probably because they're multi-purpose oils, which means they're advertised to, you know, you can use them on both your scalp and your hair. I do want to specify that these two are great scalp oils. I absolutely love them. But as far as using them on my ends daily, it wasn't exactly one of my favorite things to do. This is the Muna Beauty Oil and it smells amazing and this one is the Hinu Growth Oil. And well considering I only have like three more so these would be fourth on the list. So it's not really saying I hated them because I didn't. They were actually like it worked using them daily on my ends but they just didn't make it to my favorites. As far as scalp oils go I felt like they both worked a lot better on my scalp than they did on my length. Obviously as a pre-poo it worked, but basically what I'm talking about now is using them daily and that just didn't work as well as some of my others. So yeah, but I will be talking about these in my next video about my favorite scalp oils. So keep a lookout for that. And then there's my third favorite. So this one, I know technically it's not an oil, um, this is the Keratin Snail Mucin Serum, and it's kind of an alternative to silicone hair serums, but since it doesn't have silicones, I decided to add it into this. And as for the texture, it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner, like when you pump it out, I don't really want to waste it, so I'm not going to pump it out, but it's kind of milky, but then when you um, emulsify it in your hands, it actually looks exactly like an oil. Obviously, it is different, right? And I do really like it. I love it on damp hair. I even love it on dry hair. It's pretty great. It leaves my hair pretty shiny. And it's interesting that it's not an oil, but it kind of has the same effect. And it's really great. It does avoid split ends as far as I've seen and avoid breakage as well. So definitely a great option. On to my second favorite hair oil. At one point this used to be my favorite one, but not anymore. <laughs> um, not because it sucks, but just because I found one I like more. This is the Innate Life Rose Hair Elixir. To be honest, I like their beard and hair elixir a bit more. I also have a bottle somewhere, but you know, my husband always uses it, so I don't really keep it among my stuff. I just like it because it smells better and I feel like it gives my hair a bit more shine than this one but this one's still like it it's at the same level I would say it's just a bit of a preference and well first of all it smells amazing it smells like roses it will leave your hair smelling amazing it will leave your hair super shiny it will leave your hair soft it will like do everything it says it will and it is more on the heavy side um a lightweight at the same time because your hair won't be oily but you don't need a lot of it in that sense you know it's i think i use i use probably two drops daily 
for my long hair so one drop for any other person would always be more than enough but i do always just not like use too many products anyway so you know obviously adjust that to how you feel your hair needs it but definitely recommend you already know i love this brand and i have a whole video on their products anyway so love this and on to my favorite this is my second bottle of this and i got it i want to say almost a year ago and you know it's already slightly empty this is the Rin Organics Monoi Hair Oil. And I know I mention this in every post and every video ever, <laughs> but it just is my favorite. It's slightly more lightweight than all the other oils, so I can use three drops daily, but also, you know, a little goes a long way. The smell, I can't explain what it smells like. I'm guessing probably Monoi, and it smells so amazing and this just leaves my hair more shiny than any other oil does and it leaves my hair more soft than any of the other ones basically the reason it's my favorite is because it does what all the other oils do but better it just i can't even explain to you why i love it so much i have bought this both times from my own money and actually most of the others as well well, actually, no, never mind. Some of them were sent to me. <laughs> but yeah, this one just, I don't know why. It, it's amazing. Like the first few ingredients, it's Manoia oil, it's argan oil, sweet almond oil, evening primrose oil, camellia seed oil, jojoba oil. And it also has vitamin E, rosemary extract, vitamin A, sweet orange essential oil, neroli essential oil. That's also probably why it smells so good and a bit of lavender essential oil and yeah this is it's um probably slightly more expensive than the other oils mainly because of the shipping they're based in the uk but they do have shipping to the us um and they don't really do sales at all but i'm telling you i don't care this is just like i will always repurchase this my hair just loves this it's basically like liquid gold I even have some minis around here. I have like five of these, I think. They're so cute. You could even buy these if you just want to try it out. But obviously, since you're paying for shipping anyway, might as well go with the big ball, right? And this lasts me at least a year. At least. Um, well, I've had it a year now. So no, more like two years. But I'm like, I just don't know how else to say it. You need to try this. It's amazing that's it as far as hair oils go for my length as in these are oils that i use every single day after a leave-in conditioner i don't use these as pre-poo or anything although i could i prefer to use other products for that so that's it and i will make sure to leave a link of all the products in the description obviously so you can find them in case you want to look at them and i hope this was helpful i hope it was interesting Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.